Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy. Merry Christmas, and this is going to be a review of the Booga Mouse. This is hands down one of the worst products I have ever used, and if you just want to watch me like rip into a garbage product, um, this is the video for you. Uh, but legit, every aspect of this mouse is terrible, and I feel really bad for Booga since he has to have his name tied to this. Um, and people are like, oh, it's a mouse that's made for poor people, don't roast it. Like, if you're in the fucking 10 to $20 budget range for a mouse, just straight up get a G203. This product is literal fucking garbage, and there's no reason to buy it. It has a laser sensor. You do not want to use a mouse that has a laser sensor in 2020. The minimum DPI is 1200 Like, this is just not a mouse that is up to- wait, what the fuck? This cursor's somehow moving. It's tracking while I'm- what? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, I guess. Okay, sorry for that, like, spastic meltdown. I was just really surprised because the laser sensor is tracking on my ring light, and that just, I mean, that surprised me. Um, I did not know that this was the Razer McFly. Um, also, brings me to my next point. This is literally fucking, like, stainless steel. I just find that really funny. Um, and look at these screws, like, they're gigantic. This mouse just does not look like it was made in 2020, and it should not be purchased in 2020. Um, I weighed it earlier, and it was, like, 95 grams or so. Yeah, 96.7. So this mouse is a brick. Um, the shape is pretty gigantic. Um, it's close to the G903. Don't know if it's exactly the same shape or not, and I really don't care enough to find out. Um... And yeah, basically just every aspect of this mouse is terrible. I could go through them one by one, um, but I feel like at this point it's pretty obvious. This cable, um, not only is it fucking like just terrible, um, just like an awful, awful braided cable, uh, it's also like four feet long, so I can't even like put it in my bungee the way I would with any other cable. Um, so I've had to like basically use my DAC amp stack as a bungee. I've put the cable in between it. Um, it's just been a nightmare. Using this mouse for like 20 minutes was just enough time to send me into like a permanent state of rage um, where I just now hate the idea of Booga and all gaming mice in general. Um, these feet are really thin like you basically can't even tell they're there um they've been scratchy on every surface i've used probably because i'm just basically fucking scraping stainless steel against my mouse pad um since these feet basically just do not exist once again um so what did i sit cover already laser sensor fucking short terrible cable oh have oh and the way uh have not talked about the clicks yet uh they actually felt good at first they felt like omron 20ms uh, like right out of the box but then i started using them a bit and now they've just developed like an insane amount of pre-travel uh, I'm not sure about the play. They still barely have any play, which is impressive. Um, it's better than a lot of mainstream mice. Uh, they do. They don't have a ton of post travel either, because you see this like fucking. I don't even know what it is. This white thing. It basically just prevents post travel from occurring, which is a really interesting design. This scroll wheel. It's not bad. It, if anything, it feels like the Ultralight 2 scroll wheel. No, like no defined steps, but it's a solid scrolling experience. They have two DPI buttons. Um, which I think they just mark it as, like, having a ton of buttons. Oh, wait, this might be an RGB button? Wow, you learn something new every day. Um, there's no side flex on the mouse, which is impressive. No bottom flex either. Um, when it's literally, like, a fucking brick made out of steel, I guess it is going to have pretty solid quality. Um, the side buttons, I mean, they just have a ton of post travel. But, I mean, like, in terms of actual use... Uh, Mouse 5 is definitely up a bit too far, but, I mean, who's going to be complaining about the side buttons? Dude, you use this mouse for 5 seconds, and you want to self-harm, virtually, of course. Um, but, I, I don't know what else there is to say. Really, I've gotten all of the anger I had stored inside my body out on this mouse. Um, there is this, like, weird honeycomb design. It looks like somebody was just like, hey, put holes in. I don't know what holes do, but uh, they're on all of the popular mice. Um, so there's some holes on the side. The coating itself might be a strong point of this mouse. It's not bad. Um, in the like the 30 minutes I used it, I did not have any sweat issues. Uh, but really, the spin-outs just made this mouse unusable. Uh, so, yeah, Booga Mouse does not get the boardsy seal of approval. I did see, however, that you can pretty easily just, like, rip off all of the plastic. And then you basically just have an RGB shell. And, I mean, hey, RGB shell sounds fucking pretty cool. Oh, also, that brings me to my next point. Um, I did get sent an extra copy of the mouse. So I am going to be doing a giveaway of it. Wow, look how cool this is. Even if you don't like the mouse, you can just turn it into an RGB shell. 
Uh, so they sent me two of the mice. I paid $10 with like $8 shipping. So it was like $17, which for this mouse is an absolute scam. But I got two of them. So I mean, hey, I will be giving this away. Also, the polling rate only goes up to 500 hertz. I forgot to mention that, but it does not matter. Uh, so yeah, if you want to win, comment Booga, and I will randomly pick the winner in fucking on new year's and i'll post the uh announcement on the community tab page but sorry for the shorter review i mean this mouse was just so bad um but yeah merry christmas um <laughs> the christmas special booga mouse review um zero out of ten actually nah, nah, three out of ten this rgb shit's pretty cool um but yeah straight up worst product i've ever used peace